two of why and how I left that church in my story. It just seemed like nothing that we did was really good enough for them. So we wound up leaving. I mean, we prayed about it and we, we thought that this was the right thing to do. And I remember the pastor, what he said, he's like, if you leave these church doors, don't ever come back. Well, we left and about a month later, I was like, hon, I think we're supposed to go back. We weren't supposed to leave. Isn't that crazy? Because it was so sad, um, you know, leaving all our friends and we were involved with the children's ministry and my husband's on the worship team and everything. And we were at that one church for seven years, but we went back. The pastors were shocked and it was just so weird going back. It felt weird. It's like, we're supposed to do this and we did it, but it wasn't like, oh, welcome back. It was just like, what are you doing here? So we met with the pastor and explained everything. And he said, okay, there's some things you have to do if you're going to come back. And one of the things on the list was read this book by Watchman Nee and write an essay on it. And it was about like spiritual authority. He was so mean, so ugh, unloving. It was just terrible. And it just seemed like they only wanted us involved with things at their church and they would even talk about like, oh, you know, telling people about Jesus. But like everything was happening in the building and there really wasn't a big emphasis put on Jesus at all. There was more of an emphasis put on like spiritual gifts and huge on like the prophetic words and all that with these people that they would say, this is a, you know, a prophet. He's like, he has the office of prophet. And then like all of a sudden, you know, the pastor was like, he's apostle so-and-so. And it was just really big on titles. Their houses got bigger and bigger and they were really big on, you know, you have to do this. You have to do that. Your kids have to be like this. It really, looking back now, it really was a false church. Just the doctrine, the teachings. And again, I didn't really study Bible that much. It wasn't, I just took whatever the pastors were teaching and I'm like, oh, okay, if he's teaching on this, he's the pastor, he should know. And when you see things happening, people say they're experiencing things. Who are you to question it? And even if you yourself feel some kind of power go through you, you're not thinking it's not the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry, I'm running out of time. I got to do a part three.